Steve, you know, when it comes to car making in Europe at the moment, it, it looks like everyone is finding it very tough. You know, this is this is yet another unwelcome shock to politicians, analysts, and of course the thousands of workers potentially affected. You know, Swindon is Honda's main site really for Europe, not just the UK. The the Civic model is made there and then exported to over 70 different countries. Now, we're hoping for a more detailed announcement from Honda tomorrow, but the reports so far are that the plant will shut in 2022 and may even relocate to Japan. Now, part of the rationale for that would be to avoid any new tariffs after the UK leaves the EU. But, you know, whether it's Brexit, diesel, global growth rates, running a car making company in Europe right now has become a pretty bleak business. Well, Guy, let's turn to some good news now for UK workers. And HR experts uh, are saying that basic wages uh, in Britain's private sector could be set to surge. Uh, What's behind this projected increase? Yeah, it's a a 2.5% increase expected from the Chartered Institute of Personnel Development survey. Good news for the labour market, undoubtedly. Uh, And, and, you know, it's looked pretty resilient, the labour market, as we've been in the run up towards Brexit. But if we delve a little bit deeper into the detail of the data, there's some evidence that there may not be cause for complete celebration. Most bosses surveyed said the top reason for rising wages was simply inflation, which poses questions about how sustainable that trend is. We also heard one key Bank of England policymaker only last week explain that firms might be investing in staff rather than equipment because after a potential no-deal Brexit, sacking workers would be cheaper than selling machinery. So good news, but still plenty of uncertainty ahead. And finally, Germany's financial watchdog has banned investors from selling Wirecard. And that's one of the country's biggest financial technology firms. So uh, why did they go ahead with this ban and what's going to be the effect of it? Well, Wirecard have had a turbulent time recently. They've seen an investigation by the Financial Times into alleged fraud. Their share price has tumbled. And now Germany's financial watchdog has has stepped in in this way to to ban the practice of short selling. Now, the intervention has helped boost their share price, by the way, to over up 12 percent today, which is which is obviously good news for them. But, But short selling is a way of profiting from a decline in stock prices. And it works like a bet. An investor will borrow a stock owned by someone else, sell it, recoup the money, and then replace the borrowed stock by buying off someone else uh, once the price has dropped. Now, we've seen many examples recently of regulators being a bit suspicious of this practice and, and really watching it a lot more intently.